welcome back to the one another brand new tutorial and today i will be talking about dependency injection in kotlin okay so here i will be introducing you coin which is a very lightweight uh, lightweight and very easy to learn uh, dependency injection library and it will help you to uh like it's very easy you know it's easy to learn and i will give you a very brief demo and in uh, less than 10 minutes you'll learn how to use a dependency injection in kotlin very easily okay and uh, that's it so i will also give you a brief demo uh, 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 through the code writing a code and uh, yeah let's go through it so what is coin actually it's a very smart kotlin dependency injection library and uh, it's very lightweight and very easy to learn and that you will see right now when I will be explaining those uh, I'll be giving you a brief demo of coin and um, uh, yeah some of the terminology that you have to understand is module single uh, factory and get okay so you will learn this terminology um, uh, while I will be implementing this thing so right now you will it's um, not worthy to explain you what actually it is I will explain you when I will be writing the code so okay so let's do the setup uh, and let's implement step by step um, everything okay so first I will be opening my grill library okay so here I will be creating a, a new package called coin okay sorry guys these are some unnecessary codes here okay uh, I guess I have the the problem here okay okay as you know that the Kotlin synthetic library is uh, deprecated so that's why it's not working here but no problem and uh, yeah I have declared a model it's called coin and uh, where I will be uh, implementing all the coin um, classes and libraries okay so first thing what we have to do is you have to uh, do the gradle setup okay so to do the gradle setup and let's go to the gradle file and implement those libraries uh, not this one but the okay with the app level gradle file sorry and uh, yeah let me remove all those things and here i'll be using coin so you can pretty much copy and paste i will be also providing this documentation like uh, you can go to my blogspot at making trend.blogspot.com to get this code right and like you can implement that so here I'm using these libraries, which is uh, actually uh, IO insert coin, coin dot Android, which is pretty much using the coin version, and the coin version is uh, okay. Let me go through the uh, the coin setup. As you can see here, we are using the coin version three. Okay not the coin version 2 coin version 2 uses uh, the same old org dot code coin um, this path whereas we will be using the different one as you can see is io insert okay as you can see in, uh, previously it was org co um, coin now we are using io insert coin so i am using this new uh, coin version okay let me copy this okay and uh, i will be using this uh, in okay current version is this one okay and uh, actually I don't need this one sorry <coughs> this one uh, okay so now this must be working let's sync it Sorry, I will also modify my documentation because 
I have to add some modification in uh, in my documentation uh, about this path okay uh, no worries I will do that and um, yeah so first thing you go you implement and do the Gradle setup you implement the coin library pretty easy right and the second step that we have to do is let's see what's uh, uh, for what purpose we are using the dependency library so I'm gonna give you a simple example creating a um, coin service it's an interface with the coin service okay so this uh, coin service uh, is like provide uh, provide a service okay for example I'm saying okay and then uh, we have to use this service right so where we will be using this service is uh, we'll be using a repository uh, coin repository okay we'll be using this service in this repository so let me uh, service mm, let me implement the uh, the member okay provide service which is pretty much providing uh, a service okay so what it does is like uh, uh, it uh, um, provide sir service uh, provide coin service one okay and uh, that's it then after that we need a, a view model which is using this service right so let me create a view model this coin view model okay so uh, which will pretty much implementing a view model and which also pretty much consists of a uh, dependency that is a repository right okay so that's it and then um, uh, function which will be doing something with the coin service okay it will be doing something with the coin service okay so what it will do is a repository it will provide service so actually you know it's just uh, doing something with the the view model is doing something with the with the repository and uh, uh, with the service actually okay because repository is calling the service using the service right and as you know that the coin in the view model is using the dependency that is a repository that is a service that we are using right so now uh, so this is the, uh, the uh, you are creating some components what you are going to use okay and then what you do is you declare the coin module as you can see here in the documentation we declare the coin module so let's let me declare also the coin module uh, you can also create a separate models for separate uh, uh, features right so uh, let me uh, declare a coin module class uh, uh, okay which is uh, it's not a class actually it's like a variable that is like a let's say coin module uh, okay uh, okay it's a module what it has is like pretty much uh, this coin module pretty much as you can see here uses a single instance now okay now let me go and explain the terminology what is a module the module that I'm creating here it creates a uh, this module actually this creates a module in a coin which would be used by coin to provide all the dependencies so actually this module is used to provide the dependency the particular dependency that you know okay for example you have different feature features okay that you are implementing so for example i'm using the particular module for uh, to provide this coin repository dependency right so in the similar way you can provide different models you can declare different models all right like uh, 
for example you can just create also another module you know so don't don't uh, uh, think that you have to only create one module you can create different modules you know separate modules to provide separate dependencies right so for the moment I'm uh, using this module to provide the dependency so how do I provide I provide it in a single turn in a single instance of coin repository okay so it's a single okay which is of type coin service which is returning a time coin service and is a coin repository right and providing this coin repository dependency uh, in uh, using this model right so and um, as you can see I'm also providing a view model and that is a view model as you can see here is a coin view model okay and which is pretty much getting the service right okay so let me explain the uh, terminology what is this um, uh, uh, like uh, single single is like kind of a single turn so in the entire app only this single instance of this coin repository is created and it's utilized everywhere okay and not new not every time new instance is created so if you use factory then in this case every time new instance is created all right so you have to be just uh, understanding this situation so let me use uh, uh, factory in another model okay uh, uh, um, service okay so if you use factory that means you are using creating a uh, it's like a singleton single is kind of like a singleton that can be used across the app as a singular instance whereas factory it provides a bean definition which will create a new instance each time it is injected so new every time new instance is created okay new instance in each injection all right so just be careful about this these two differences and the view model is using this gate which is uh, it is uh, using the constructor class to provide the required dependency so as you can see the view model is using this dependency this dependency that it is provided as you can see the view model here is using this dependency right like as you can see it uh, is dependent with the coin repository the coin view model is dependent has a dependency with the coin repository and using this model we are you using this get um, parameter uh, like um, uh, get method we are uh, getting like injecting this uh, repository like okay we are pretty much getting this uh, like uh, uh, like uh, providing the required uh, dependency okay which are we are providing this repo uh, repository uh this dependency right so that's it now let's um go and yeah we declared the coin model now we have to start uh, going from our application class so let's go and create our application class uh, as you can see my application class is my cool app and now i have to pretty much uh, start coin from our my application class so how do i start pretty much we can start coin and then write logger and write context uh, context uh, this uh, my cool app you're pa passing the context of this uh, your app application class modules are is a uh, app module uh so yeah you have to understand which modules you are using so it's like a um, coin module uh, uh, another module as you can see you can also when you uh, declaring your module you can also provide this kind of modules here okay so for the moment i'm just using only one module okay this coin module but as your application grows 
you can use pretty much different kind of modules right so so like there will be not only one module there will be like plenty of modules so you can use in this app, app uh, in this way okay you can inject your modules here like this you can start the coin with your uh, respective modules okay and also the idea can be only you declare only one module and provide the uh, the dependency here okay uh, okay so you can the one of the idea is not uh, idea is creating only one module as a app module and uh, you can only use the sim single module okay but also or you can create separate separate modules like i am creating here okay so there are different uh, mechanisms what you can use okay so just uh, try to understand the the different scenarios right and if you have any questions just please comment uh, down below so i will be explaining you and uh, yeah finally then later on finally you can inject the dependency and use it so let's inject and use those dependency so to inject and use that okay i need a activity or a fragment so i'm gonna create a active coin activity okay and i'm gonna use this model it's pretty much uh, using this app compact activity and uh, on create right and uh, you can lazily inject your your models here lazily inject your view model so how do you lazily inject is uh, my view model is pretty much um, view model in by view model right so here you are lazily injecting a view model then pretty much you set to content view for activity r dot layout dot um, okay. okay for the moment let me use activity man and and use your view model and how do you use it you just pin and do something with the coin service right that's it guys so it's pretty easy right how to use it so it was pretty much this setup and this all this is a similar process uh, like a mecha that you have to follow but it's very easy right in less than maybe 10 15 minutes you understand how to use a dependency injection which is pretty much uh, uh, in uh, smart dependency injection for kotlin right so i hope you would enjoy it and uh, you like it and uh, that's it for now and thank you